Hello, doers. My name is Jose Ignacio. Today we're talking about production costs. Here at Stealthy Wood, we build a lot of furniture. And recently, well, the price of wood shot up by 20%. So how do we stay profitable when materials and labor costs keep changing? Inside of Odoo, we can actually track those costs by setting up inventory valuation for each component, labor rates, and work center expenses as well. And if our prices don't reflect those costs, we could lose money on every single sale. So today, I'm going to show you how to make sure your sales reflect the true cost of production so that you can protect your margins. Let's get right into it, shall we? So before we do anything, let's configure our employee labor rates. This directly becomes part of the labor cost of each production run. So if we want our product cost to actually be accurate, this number has to also be. So to do that, make sure the payroll app is installed. And it looks a little bit like that. Okay, then you want to make sure you go over to the employee's application and find your employee, in this case, myself. So inside of the settings tab, make sure that my hourly rate is set right there in the bottom left corner. Now, this hourly rate doesn't update automatically from the annual salary set in the employee contract that we have up here. So we're going to need to manually calculate and enter it to ensure accurate labor costs in production. Okay, now let's set up how Odoo tracks costs for our manufactured product. So we're going to go back to our main Odoo dashboard over here. And can you guess where we're headed, Odooers? Well, we're actually going over to our manufacturing application once again. Okay, now up here, we're going to go to products and products. Perfect, you're getting the hang of this right now. We're going to select our star drawer product. So here's the most important step. Inside of this category field that we have right here, well, in this field, we set the costing method. So when you hover over it, we have this nice little internal link. Go ahead and select that to open the product category settings. Under the costing method over here, in my case, I've selected Avco. I've selected average cost. And that happens to be average manufacturing cost split among my existing drawers that happen to all be in stock. We're going to cover the difference between standard price, FIFO, and AVCO in another video. So hang tight. But for inventory valuation to work correctly, you're going to either want AVCO or perhaps FIFO. And you might get a warning as you change that. So think about that. And as I mentioned, there's also standard price. I'm going to revert all of that. So standard price won't automatically calculate our cost during production, by the way. With the manufactured product configured, everything is done. Let's see which components are used to build the drawer. So we're going to go back using our drawer breadcrumb. It's Wonder Bread today. And then we're going to select our Bill of Materials Smart Button up at the top. And then we're going to select our bomb. Nice. So each component here should also have its costing method set to AFCO for consistent valuation. Don't be mixing stuff. So since you smart Odooers already know that the costing method is set on the component's product category, I'm not going to show you. So with our components ready, let's define how long the production takes. So we're going to head over to our operations tab over here. And here we've set the operation with a duration of one hour. Now sharp Odooers probably see where this is going. We calculate labor costs based on the duration of working on this MO with that hourly rate that we set up earlier. Using your brain right there. Makes it a little bit easier for us to do that. Okay, now the time has come to add the cost to keep the machines running. We can either get to the work centers two different ways. So either way, in our case, you can go up to the very top that we have up here and select configuration and then work centers. But we're not going to do that way. All right. That's how you do that. Or more quickly, if you wanted to, you select assembly line one once, then you hover it, and then you click on the internal link. And there we go. And that's how we're at. Because, you know, why should you have one path when Odoo gives you two? Okay, so over here on the right. Well, actually, underneath the costing information area, we happen to have our cost per hour. And it's set to $34.59 per work center. Now, this reflects the hourly cost of running this work center. All right, now time to bring it all together by processing a manufacturing order. So first, you actually want to close this window. Then we're going to close this operations one over here as well. Now we're going to go to operations and manufacturing orders. Select the one for our drawer that we happen to have over here. Okay, so as the assembly line worker, I can either click the shop floor smart button that we have up at the top for a nice interface, or I can go to the barcode app to scan each component during assembly. 
Check out our consuming components during manufacturing video for a full demo of that. So for now, I'm gonna keep it simple. We're just gonna check the consume boxes. See, Odo's already starting to register all that I'm doing over here. And then we're gonna select produce all at the top left. And something new has appeared at the top of the page. Can you guess? Okay, so actually two things appeared. And one of them happens to have been something up at the top of the page and in the top right corner. I am now in developer mode. You should be as well. And I'm gonna explain why in a second. But first let's check out the cost breakdown for this manufacturing order. So we're gonna select overview up at the top. All right, so over here in the very top line under unit costs, we see how much it actually costs to produce the drawers in this MO only. And whew, how did it get so expensive? Let's see what's going on. So the first section that we happen to have with blue links shows components costs with each unit price listed. But who gets those numbers from the stock valuation of purchased items, which we're gonna look at in just a second. So next up, we happen to have operation costs. And there's a line for assembly one, which reflects our work center cost. And below that is actually me. It's my hourly wage based on the one hour duration that we set earlier. You can see that at the $100 right there as well. That's mighty interesting. So if the operation took more or less time, this number would adjust accordingly. So at the bottom here, we actually get the full picture for one drawer. We happen to have our total cost of operations per unit, which gets us the final production cost, which happens to be the unit cost. All right, let's dive into procurement where those component costs that we talked about come from. So now I could just show you the purchase order directly through the purchase app, but let me take you through a series of smart buttons and show you how I'd investigate how all the different Odoo apps, including inventory, manufacturing, and purchase work together to track production costs. So let's click on our MO breadcrumbs up at the very top over here. And we're back at the manufacturing order. Now this is where we need to make sure we turn on developer mode. As you can tell, I happen to be in it. And now let's click our valuation spark button up at the top. Perfect. So this shows us which components were deducted from inventory for each component after production was completed. But how did Odoo get these total values that we happen to have over here? Well, let's click the breadcrumb to go back to the MO that we happen to be on and then select one of the components. Let's pick handle. Okay, so here we have the handle and in the handle pop-up, we're gonna click handle once again. And that takes us to its product form. So from there, we're gonna click on our purchase smart button that we actually should have up at the very top. There we go. Okay, let's expand this for a quick second. So now we should click on our topmost recent order that we happen to have. All right, so here's our purchase order. So this PO shows the unit price that we paid when we bought those components. Odoo happens to actually use that to calculate the value of what was consumed. But that value only updates after we receive the items. So let's click the receipt smart button up at the very top. So once that this is validated, Odoo creates a valuation layer, later, a valuation layer. So let's click on the valuation smart button up at the top to see the value of the received items. If you notice, the valuation that we happen to have this time is positive and the valuation on the MO was negative because right now the items are entering stock and the consumed components are leaving stock. Now let's bring it all together. So let's select products and products once again. And this time we're gonna open up our drawer product all over again. So here we have a cost field. And that shows the current average cost per unit based on the manufacturing orders we did before today. To update this, we're gonna click compute price from bomb. And what do you know? This recalculates the average cost of all manufactured drawers currently in stock. Want the full breakdown of how it calculates this? Check out our video on costing methods. So comparing this cost to our sales price that we have over here, all right. Um, well, I don't have to be a math magician to see. It looks like we're operating at a loss. Might be time to reevaluate our pricing strategy to protect those margins. So for an overview of all production costs, not just one MO, we're gonna click the cost analysis smart button. And let's go over here. We're sometimes having to click the more option that we have over there. Okay, so this gives us a bird's eye view of costs across every drawer that we've ever produced. There's a lot of information everywhere. And there you have it. We're talking money today. 
These are the out-of-box tools in Odo to help you track manufacturing costs and inventory valuation so that you can price smart. Thanks for watching. As always, see you next time. Go grab a snack. I need one.